It's number five on another week of Weekly Top 5. This was donated by Brad S. This is Brad S.'s Pride Month Top 5. So we got five different artists Yes. that represent uh, the gay community. Uh, yes. In, in ways. I mean, I don't know if they're all gay, but like gay people, the gay community loves these artists. Yep. At well, least. At least Brad S. At does. least Brad S. does. <laughs> well, let's just put it this way. Brad S. made a Pride Month week. There we go. And this is his week. So uh, Brad and S. it also says, love your channel. Well, thank you, Brad. Thank you, Brad. And I, I imagine the S stands for sexy. Is, Brad, that, what you, is that what you imagine? Brad sexy. Or Brad saucy. I prefer sexy Brad, mm. but Brad sexy is pretty good. That's true. Uh, okay, we got Bronsky Beat, Small Town Boy. Bronsky Beat, Small Town Boy. I don't know if I've heard the song. I believe I, it's older. Never so. heard of the artist. Very excited. Yeah, I have no idea. So I see that we have a young man admiring another young man yes. diving in the pool. And seemingly a, a, a grumpy parent, yeah. father. Disapproving father. Yes. This is, ve- this is very British, right? Yeah. Yeah. Has to like, be. This does not feel American, especially this whole egg business. <laughs> that looks British to me. This is kind of, I mean, this is, this is so much. I mean, maybe I'm sure for British people, which I'm assuming British, right? Uh, for rich people, somewhere, somewhere in the UK. Yeah, for rich people, sorry, as an American, a lot of these things are all standing out and catching my attention. <laughs> it is interesting. Well, especially too because this is an older video. Oh yeah. So it's like this Sainsbury's cornflakes. This is retro British. 
I know. One thing I love. And loved. now that I'm gathering, now that I'm seeing the other names on the list for this for this week, this is like retro Pride Month week. This is not yeah. modern Pride All Month. of these yeah, yeah. videos, I believe, are probably all at least before I was born. And yeah. Maybe even you were born, too. Yeah. Um, but it's, when the cap it's, fits, it's manpower. I saw yeah. that. That seemed ridiculous. Um, but, you know, it, it is really interesting to see, like, I think it's really cool that a video like this was actually made in the 80s. Yeah. It's how much pushback, so much pushback you'd get from a lot of people. And the 80s was people, not. People just weren't ready for it back then. And the 80s was particularly brutal with yeah. uh, the way people treated the gay community because it seemed like in the 70s things were trending upwards. And then obviously with the crisis that came in, mm -hmm. it really, it really, it gave a lot of, you know, a lot of meat. social leverage to the opposing side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It allowed them to kind of just say what, oh, well, look at this. Look what this behavior leads to. And it's right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me you don't know about science without telling me you don't know about science. <laughs> um, okay. To lighten the mood a little bit, when the three guys jump off. I think it's this one. This guy, I think, really biffs it. <laughs> This guy right here. Oh yeah, you caught that. <laughs> I, think, I think, like, here, let me, let me. Ah, oh, shit. Does it not show it? Watch him go. I got a kind of over. Slapped it. It's it not just, so bad. It's not that bad, but, but it's not great. When, when, you, when you see it, it's like, oops. <laughs> like he definitely didn't mean to do that. I, know, I just thought it was now and then the fun. way the way this situation implies is that it, it seems like because you know when his buddies come up it kind of feels like you're not really sure is is all of this is is any of this known by anyone because the way the father looks at him or seems like he's he at least suspecting the he's father. suspecting so is this something that everyone knows about or is this something that just he knows about just him obviously it seems like the father doesn't like him yeah, who much. knows if it has to do with the sexuality, but it could. Or if he knows could. that's what it is, yeah. To the big city, you know. Nice you know what me. I I realize is like, and I've thought about this before, but that's such a common theme in like a uh, a gay person's life in the '60s, '70s, '80s, '90s. Probably even today, it's still common. Where like you grow up somewhere in the suburbs or a rural area, you are closeted gay kid, and then you. You know, you become an adult like 18, 19, 20, and then either come out and get rejected or just realize, like, I can't start a life here where I'm at. Like, no one's going to accept me the way that I am. So then you, 
you move to like the biggest nearest city, whether that like here in the U S it's like LA, San Francisco, Chicago, New York, you know, where, wherever that might be for you. Um, but that's so common. Like here it is being depicted in a music video from 40 years ago. You know, this is like such a, like the common story of growing up. You have to go somewhere where more people come together and able, are able to create their own like microcultures in, in bigger areas. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And when it's, when it's a small town, there's only enough people for one culture. Yeah. Right, one right, culture right. is going to dictate everything. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. It's really, it's, it's, it's always something you have to remember too, when you're thinking about like what the point of this month is mm-hmm. and why it's celebrated by so many people is because of this, this video. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The amount of people who are just looked at like you're by the people who you were, whether you believe in God or not, you were forced to trust from the day you were born, mm-hmm. decided that they are just going to spit on you and kick you out. Yeah, yeah. When, and, once, you, once you revealed who you were. And of course, that is an extreme example that you gave. And they didn't depict it that way here. Mm-hmm. But he was more, he was essentially forced out, even though like the dad didn't like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not like he, he literally he threw gave him, money, him out. But, but he, it wasn't like a loving goodbye. Like, oh, I'll miss you, son. It was like, here's some money. Good luck. Yeah, here's yeah. some money because I'm, I am I feel like legally obligated to care <laughs> for you in some way. And this is all I'm willing to do. And, and also... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And, and now... And and I, I honestly hope I never see you again. Because I can't confront these feelings ever. Right. Which is just wild. And it's just so wild because like in a situation like that, the person who is coming out has to carry the weight of everyone else's discomfort right. of realizing that they're like, they've already had, th- this is an insane thing. Just thinking about having to go through realizing these feelings, these feelings that you have, this person that you realize that you are. And then having to come to terms with that just for yourself and then come to terms with everyone else is going to have to, everyone else is probably going to have a problem with you telling them about it mm-hmm. and revealing it to them. And then you have to carry their pain because they can't handle it either and right. have to wait for them to come to terms with it. Like that is, you have to be so confident in yourself as a gay person to even begin to be like, all right, and now all these other people that are going to be upset about me telling them something that I've already come to terms with Mm -hmm. is extremely, it's, it's so much emotional, heavy lifting Yeah, that most people, I mean, if you, in most situations, you don't have to go through that. Yeah. It's madness. I mean, fortunately in this day and age, uh, these, um, like the reactions of many parents is more welcoming and understanding, at least understanding, maybe not welcomed, but at least understood. Yeah. Um, because, you know, times change and things have gotten better since the eighties at least, but you know, there's still some improvement. And in, and in many cases, people are still having this exact same uh, experience where, I know. and not only just in England or the U S so anywhere. I mean, um, and I know there's some countries that are like that are that are worse than 50, this. Yes. Still in the fifties. So. Worse than this. Yeah, uh, really bad. Yeah. So, globally, globally, there is a ways to go. But a lot, lot of, um, but just but remembering yeah. that the 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 people, and it's always been kind of one of the more interesting things. I've never gone to a pride festival and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Which obviously we spend. You know, this is a whole pride week. We're gonna have a lot more, a lot more time to talk about it. But I'm just mm-hmm. thinking about it. Like going to pride festival. I remember you played um, Palm Springs Pride last year, and Palm Springs is a pretty old older person community everyone there's much older and there's i always love seeing the older people at pride that you know really went through this yeah they're dealing with this crap they came up in the 70s and they came up in the 80s and they were going through all these things like they carried the they carried the light you know for this new wave to be able to and for these new younger people to be able to uh hopefully never go through experiences where you destroy your entire family just based on the way you were born. Yeah. And I always just see them and I just think like, man, they're here 
and it's pride and they're just standing out. They're just standing. It just like, looks like they're so happy to just stand outside and, and be like, exist as they are yeah. and be like, no one here gives a shit about it. I am just, <laughs> I am who I am. And they're so happy. I'm just here and that's it. And yeah, I just yeah. get to be a person. I get to be a human being today and everyone, and instead of a gay human being that is disappointing his father or disappointing whomever, you know, all that stuff. It right. carried so much weight for so many years mm-hmm. to, to see them experience that to see them be able to you know like feel the fruits of their labor by seeing it be more and more accepted is amazing yeah and i think the ultimate goal is to not even have to have uh pride festivals yeah to just be accepted in the first place right you know? yeah because like pride festival they raise awareness and you know um and, and to get, celebrate and, and to celebrate and it gives people a place to come together um and feel like this is for you, you know, yeah. this is special for you. Um, but yeah, the whole idea would just be like to just accept everyone right off, right from the jump, especially with how, <laughs> with the idea, especially with how much of a spectrum it is too. So then it's even more like not even a very specific thing for a lot of people, you know, mm-hmm. like if your child comes home with their first love and it's a boy, a girl, trans, whomever they come home with that person and your response would be like, oh, okay. Like, it doesn't have to be, As long as they're not what? a... What? Sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can still have the same, like, well, as long as you love and trust them and they're not a shitty person. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll still look at them. P- they're not going to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, I'll still look at them as a father and be like, all right, well, let's make sure this person's not a scumbag and yeah, going to, like, yeah. take advantage of you or hurt you or something. Yeah. But beside, outside of that, it doesn't matter right. what creed or code they are. So... Well, anyways, we'll have a lot more discussions, but Absolutely. this was, I, I I have definitely heard this song. Oh, you have? Go, I have dun, not. Dun, 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 dun. I recognize that, uh, too. Okay. I've heard it somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you to Brad S., and we'll see you in the next one. That's right.